Welcome to the Guests Network. I'm um, Joel DeGroove and today we're here with uh, Enzo Siragusa. How are you doing Enzo? Yeah, good thanks mate. So when did you start actually DJing? I mean, aside your love of music. I was, I was 14 and my cousin was a DJ. He, he, like, he was playing Acid House and stuff and uh, I used to just go around to their house and, right. and just play records, play their records, you know, and it was that sort of early, sort of late Acid House, sort of real early hardcore oh. sound. That's a Roman base and stuff like that. Yeah, yeah, stuff Max, like that. Yeah, it was. Yeah, all the reinforced stuff. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah there, there were the days. Yeah. I thought I got old men now. There were the days. But that, 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 that was my sound, really. And then when, when it sort of got into that more jungly sort of sound, like people like Booker and Peche, people like that, and that, yeah. that really sort of got me thinking. Okay. And that's when I, I, I bought my own decks and I was like, Buying the mixtapes and uh, and copying the mixes, going out, yeah. finding the tunes, and then and then copying the mixes, you know, and then that's that's what I sort of learned the techniques. Right. Okay. DJs like Randall, like the smooth mixer. Yeah, like, yeah. He was like, I know that. He was so smooth, and it was you like practicing that. those mixes. Do, do, probably... do you know why he was so smooth? Why is that? Because I was sitting there, I was watching week after week, and, and I became good friends. I was obsessed. So I, mm-hmm. I used to go to the DJ box and sit there and. Where a lot of DJs would uh, kind of move their hands around and use the platter and kind of yeah, like how hip hop yeah. DJs do it, that's why I used to do it. He would let, let go of the dub plate and then he just used the pitch. Pitch. And pitch, he was the first yeah. person I saw to do that. Yeah. And the mix yeah. comes in in about 15 seconds and I thought to myself, that's what I want to do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> exactly, yeah. And then, and then you yeah. practice that. Like, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just sitting there like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. man. Yeah. I know that one. So, I mean, um, at the moment, you, I mean, Fuse has been going for how many, how many years now? Uh, about two and a half years now. Okay, and, and I mean, what, what, what was your original idea of just actually, I mean, what did, what did you want to provide people with? I mean, people just have something private. What, what was your concept? I don't think like um, I think the concept and was, it was just just an after party for me, really. It was, it was, it was simple as that. Yeah, it was, it was, we, we used to do a party at a home bar called Circuit, and it, it was wicked, but it used to finish at two. And so it was eight till two in the morning, and at two in the morning, like, I'd, I'd either go somewhere and do another gig, and then crack on an after party, which would yeah. finish around sort of midday. And so it was around that 11 o'clock time where there was just nothing to do um, for, for like, a couple of shit bags with me and my mates, you know. <laughs> and, and, and therefore, like, we thought, let's do a party, let's just do a free party. It's, you know, it, 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 there, was, there wasn't really that much thought behind it apart from that. Right. Okay, and, yeah, yeah. And, and we come across, across 93, and, um, and yeah, and it was just, let's, let's do it. And, and it. and it grew, and it grew quick. It yeah, took us by surprise, to be honest, like how, how quick and how controlled it was. <laughs> it was like the Wild West in here for a little while, but um, but yeah, there was there was, it was just one of those things. There was no real thought behind it. It was you know it was an after party. That's yeah, what it was. Really how many of you are actually behind it? Really? Um, initially, there was there was three of us. Uh, there was uh, Dom, Tony, and and I. Um, and, uh, and Don's gone off to his, his hybrid life thing, yeah. which is going great. I know, I know, I know, I know, it's like just uh, Tony and I that, 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 that manage it and yeah. run it, you know. It's, and also your residents. And the residents, yeah. I've got, I've got an amazing pool of residents. These guys have, have, have been here from the beginning, really, because yeah. obviously keeping the cost down, it wasn't something we could die out and get loads of guests to play. Um, yeah, people needed to be sort of understanding of the fact it was a free party. So these were the guys, really, that just stood by it. I mean, you know, they... Yeah. They would come here and just bring their records anyway, and they would just play, you know, regardless of money, which is the way, the way that, that I was doing it as well. So, and and they just understand the vibe of the party. So, you know, the residents have stayed throughout, and, yeah. and the party's really sort of moulded around the guys, really, you know, and, and, and the sound. Yeah, but you mean all, yeah, all the residents. I mean, um, you've got a, you know, a good set of DJs there. Great um, and also, 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 you know. Production tip as well. Mm, yeah, I mean the likes of doing yeah, likes of, of, of Rich Next. He's going to be releasing an XDP on on the label. Yeah, right now. And the guy's just producing amazing music. Yeah. You know, same with with he's awesome, he's, he's, he's brilliant. He's, yeah, he's he's cool. Another another level. Uh, and, yeah. and, and, the, and the same and the ambassador same. at the same time. Yeah, yeah, such a nice, yeah, guy, such yeah. A nice guy. But I mean, the, the, honestly, if one he, he has like yeah. 10, 10 tracks ready for me already for the label. You know, and it's yeah. like, we could put an album out. Really for each. The guy's a genius, you know. Yeah. And, and the same with the likes of, of, of Alex Arno, and you know he's, he's an amazing producer, yeah, yeah. Uh, very Sick. experienced, and, and yeah. you know and, and the rest of the guys as well. Seb, Seb, Luke, in there. Yeah, yeah, Luke. Seb Luke, Chrissy, yeah. and, and now there's even a couple of, of um, new guys that are coming on board. That they've come from the dance floor and fuse, you know. And I, they're like, you could you could 
see that they had something. They weren't just DJs. I might yeah. get making music. You know, yeah. It's going to take some time, but do it. And they're, they're making tunes for the label as well. It's, it's, it's brilliant, man. You know? And it's all coming from the dance floor, which is, which is important. I mean, you're a Sagamore EP. I mean, that, that's, that's a point that's a, that's a of yeah. I think, myself. Yeah, it's nice on it. <laughs> Tell us about that. I mean, you, you said that you, kind of, you weren't sure about that, were you? Yeah, it... it it took a bit of time to, to, to get my head around it, you know, it was like, I'd done him by a long time ago, that was I think 2008, and that didn't come out for like a year and a half, you yeah. know, um, but, but with Sagamore and Rotondo, you know, I, I, I basically I wanted a three track EP, but the third track was just, I just couldn't get the sound that I wanted, I'm a perfectionist, yeah. and it just wasn't coming, so... So yeah, so in the end, everyone's like, you've just got to put these tunes out, they're wicked. And, and they were working every time I play them at Fuse. In fact, every time I play them anywhere, it's just like, <laughs> yeah. boom, boom, boom. Everyone's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, uh, so yeah, you know, I, the, the, it, it, it works, you know. It's on a deeper tip. It's, you know, it's not big room stuff, but it, you it's, know, yeah, it's, it's groovy, it's deep, Yeah, it's groovy, man. Yeah, it's yeah. Deep and, and people love it, man. So okay. it's good, man. So what's some of your plans with the label? You're looking to just um, obviously spread things out. I mean, but... For you yourself, I mean, what else you got for us coming this year? Um, I've done a collaboration with uh, Chris Latner on a, on a label called Bounce Out, which I think is based in, in Hamburg. They've got a yeah. wicked little club there as well. And um, so, yeah, that's, I mean, that's called, it's called the Jazz Fusic EP, and it's, that's coming out, I think, end of the month, yeah. if I'm not wrong. That's, that, that seems to be hit, hitting the right notes on the dance floor here. Yeah. So I'm, I'm looking forward to getting that out. Yeah, yeah. Um, a few more collaborations as well with, with the residents. I've got I've got a remix coming out of, of one of the guys um, on on the label. Um, you know, and I'm starting to get a few inquiries from some of the bigger labels. You know, yeah. just asking what I'm doing with some of my tracks. So who knows? There might even be something on, on, a, okay. on one of the bigger labels. We'll yeah. see. That's what we like. That's what we like. Yeah. yeah. Right. Next up, actually, um, we've got the the mighty Desolat. Coming to town party, at Pulse. Yeah. You been to Pulse yet? Uh, yeah, I've been there. Yeah, yeah. you know it's uh, it's an interesting space. You know, it's like a, a, a hybrid event space. Really, it looks really cool. Yeah. Um, so I mean, we're going in and and, and you know going to be doing this thing with Desolat. You know, yeah. they've got this huge big production going in there. It's it's an exciting gig. Yeah, man. it's a big one. It's know? a big and, one for you. Know, the likes of Dice and, and Butchwich have been massive inspirations to me you know yeah. in, in my sound you know so i'm really really looking forward to it <laughs> yeah. man I'm really yeah yeah we're gonna, gonna be, here, be there to check that out no, <coughs> they've also got yeah beauty's gonna be play, uh, doing a live thing yeah it does, i it spoke to him an amazing day. musician man. he's a funny guy as well yeah, he was really, yeah, really funny he yeah. was recording 24 hours I just when i spoke to him so he just took some time out and they were just recording straight. So he said, he just, he just, I do, I do everything in real time. So I just, I just keep recording yeah, yeah, that's right, until yeah. I, until I can't really record anymore. And then I'll go back to it. Yeah. And I use bits, bits of that in time. It's like amazing. This guy's an amazing musician, man. He is, like, yeah, he's yeah. a proper musician, you know. Not like, like me. I'm just a DJ, man. I'm just, I'm just a raver that is <laughs> making beats and grooves, and you know, just, you know, that's my way to make people dance. But that, that guy is an actual real talent, you know. The guy is, is a, is a pianist, and you know. And, Hear that in, in his sound and stuff. Yeah. You know? But the rest of the roster there, you know, people like uh, Lydia Rovia are brilliant. Um, Tini. Tini is, Tini is probably, she's my favourite DJ. Yeah. That's it. Done. Right now, That's that cool. girl is probably, she's just, you know, her vibe, passion, it all comes out, Karen, it all comes out in her music, and it's just, just an, another level of DJ, man, and I think that girl's going to go so far. Yeah. I can see why the best of that camp is just like, yeah, 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 she's tight, man. She's yeah, tight. really, really good. You know, and then Hector, a good friend of mine, he's just joined. He's just joined the uh, Desolate Camp. So. Hector, yeah, 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 cool. I, I don't usually so like really that's, that's a positive move because you know they're, they're, they're the ones doing it at the moment. That's like, you know, for me, and their sound not, is not to say that it won't work. Speaking, man, you know. Yeah. So this Saturday should be interesting. Yeah? <laughs> <laughs> good, good fun. No, I think more than interesting. I think yeah, that's gonna be. Um, I, I, don't, I, don't, I don't usually get excited about gigs, not less I'm DJing and myself. And <laughs> yeah. and you, and you're, DJing, you're, 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 you're feeling really happy because you're flying to a new country, and yeah. but it's completely different, you know, um, as a DJ. Because I, I kind of just go to gigs and go, okay, I'm going to do that and that and that. But that party, I'm just like, that's sick. And I've got to have some of that. So that's, yeah. that's something I'm definitely not going to miss out. And, so. and, it, and it's one dose to go every. 
then the session? Yeah, I think it's going to be going till about 10 in the morning or something like that. So basically, whenever Dice and the Dice get tired, and it should be cool. And what time are you playing? Uh, I'm not actually sure at the moment. We're doing most of the night in, in the uh, in room two, so me and Seb will be on the decks a, a lot of the time in that room, I think. Yeah. So, yeah, most of the night, I think. Let me lose some of those eggs. Nice one. Yeah. Dude, it's been good talking to you, man. Nice one, man. Um, all the best for this year. Um, Thank you very much. And I mean, what's going on New Year's Eve? Is there going to be a, is there going to be a fuse? New Year's, New Year's Day, New Year's Day, rather, yeah, good to do New Year's Day, yeah. Day. yeah, New Year's yeah, Day. Yeah, that's, you know, we've always done the 18-hour sessions and uh, on New Year's Day, so... Is that coming back? I'm getting too old to do them, man. They, 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 they wipe me out, but yeah, probably. Yeah, he's going to do it. Go out New Year's Eve and, and, then, uh, and then do that. And, uh, well, I think that's the best way to party, I think it is, because I, mean, I think, well, obviously for us as DJs, we go out in the night time, we're, we're DJing elsewhere, and obviously it's your party the next day during the day, but for me it's always about the after party. It's daytime when everyone kind of gets together in one big place. And, yeah. Just nice people coming together and just raving. Exactly. Hard. Having raped hard already. <laughs> already, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so finish some stuff. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I think all that, yeah, defuse. <laughs> yeah, that's it. Maybe there's an idea. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>